when I was a kid, I wasn't interested in science. I was mostly interested in like getting on with other kids. For me, the hardest thing was to figure out like how people behaved and you know what they liked and what they didn't like about each other, about me. And so I remember paying a lot of attention to what other people were doing to try and figure out you know, how I should be. I wondered for a long time about how I could understand what was actually real and what was a misunderstanding, a misconception. I could see that different people, depending on where they came from, who their friends were, had very different interpretations of what looked like the same stuff. Uh, a more concrete example, someone would play uh, uh, baseball. And some people would think this is an excellent baseball player and you know, want them on their team, and other people would choose this person very, very last. And it never made any sense to me. How could everybody look at the same person, you know, want to win the same game, um, but not really converge on a, the same opinion. And they, these weren't like casual opinions. They, people would get into fights over this kind of thing. So that's the kind of thing that, that got me wondering about myself. How good are my perceptions? How accurate are they? Um, how do I know it's real? I had a really great high school English set of teachers. What, those high school teachers had inspired me to do is to like figure out how your world works um, and they inspired me to read but more importantly they inspired me and basically convinced me that you could have a active life so to speak of the mind and so I decided when I went to college that I was going to study you know English and philosophy because it was exciting and and so I ended up in college um, wondering about you know, subjective reality and so on. And because I had been inspired to you know, learn about stuff, um, I was a pretty good science student and I was interested in you know, the physics of the world, the chemistry and the biology of the world. So I took a bunch of science classes. And one day I went to a biology lecture that totally changed my head about everything. And it was a description of a classic experiment called What the Frog's Eye Tells the Frog's Brain by Jerry Letvin. And the gist of it is the frog's reality is different than our reality, at least its visual reality. A frog's eye is only designed and its brain only designed to detect dark dots that move fast, like flying flies. But flies that don't move, dots that don't move, don't basically exist because the frog doesn't have the biological apparatus to actually detect that. And so that like blew my mind because you could actually measure it. You didn't have to like argue it. You could actually measure it with an electrode and a system of understanding. And so I decided neurobiology was the right way to try and figure out what was real. Today, I still wonder about what's real. I'm curious to understand how my brain builds models of the world so that it can interact with the world and collect the information in the world, not the way it actually is, but the way I am designed, if you will, to interpret it. In some sense, my reality is fundamentally subjective. And I'm trying to understand how my reality, although subjective, must follow similar rules to other people's brains because we mostly agree on stuff, even though the details are different. And so how do we make that kind of judgment about things? And what is it that allows us to agree or disagree on this? These are the kinds of rules that I'm interested in understanding. I'm doing Nova Wonders because for me, it was a challenge. When I was growing up, and in fact, most of my adult life, there wasn't a way for me to easily and directly access the science of the world. And 
It turns out that the science of the world is fascinating. It's the only interesting thing as far as I'm concerned. And so Nova Wonders was a challenge for me to see if I could communicate that to a lot of people and in some sense provide the kind of thing that I wish I had had and that I hope my kids get.